Last time on the adventures of space pirate Captain Samurai Bucko drink name pending, because honestly, that's a oh, that's a complete mouthful. We were finally able to track down loot sealed vault and with it, give Bucko drink the ability to gain superpowers. We brought home the seven recruits from Bucko's nearby settlement to serve as more cannon fodder. And speaking of mouthful, Bucko got himself a new holographic girlfriend. Don't ask. I don't, I don't know how it works either. But just as everything was looking up for Bucko drink, the Fire Nation attacked. And by the Fire Nation, I mean Krakens. Many Krakens. Mechanoids are plenty. And with those Mechanoids, the orbital bombardment. So I wasn't that far off of Fire Nation, given that <laughs> given that our base is probably going to burn down again. But don't let me understate this. I don't think there is a way we come out of this surviving. Or at least the majority of our people surviving. And even if the people survive, the base won't. Everything is going to catch fire. The Aero Fleet Swarm is certainly going to get us killed. The best we can hope is that Bucko can thin the numbers. And then if there is a hole in the wall, they're going to be squishy enough that, that our weapons can actually do some damage at this point. We've killed, we've killed two of them. <laughs> two are dead, but luckily the walls haven't popped quite yet. We can't go for the Kraken because they seem almost rocket proof. I don't know what the hell is going on with those guys. They don't take any damage at all from Bucko's Mortar. Best case scenario, the walls somehow survive and we're able to fight them at the kill box. Bucko, what the hell are you doing? Why did, why did he stop firing? Okay, okay, bring him down a little bit further. Maybe he's just getting maybe he's just getting his sea legs. There's another one. Good shit, good shit, good shit. Go, go, go. Take out what we can take out. Forget about the Kraken for now. Bucko's mortal enemy being a Kraken, though. I, I'm, I'm a fan of that. Even if it means potentially <laughs> death for everybody in the colony. I like it. What can I say? Okay. Still no holes in the wall. We might be able to find them in the kill box. Bring the squad down. Let's move him to... Boom to here. Super nanites deteriorated away in storage. <gasps> they cut the power to the lab. Shit. We're going to lose all of our super nanites. So we won't get any superpowers regardless. What the fuck happened there? How can this have happened? A shot hit there. I think we're going to lose everything. Uh, Ron. There's 90 still there. She might just be able to get it back online before we lose the rest of these super nanites. I think it's unlikely. Oh, come on, Bucko. Good lord. Oh, this is horrible. Chem fuel is on fire. Oh my god, we've lost the ship again as well. The bridges are gone. Everything is on fire. It's not as much as I was expecting that we'd lose, but so much power... There is a hole in the wall there, but that's not a big deal. So much of the power grid has been cut. Holy crap, how are we doing, High Tech Redneck? Just get the power back online. Those super nanites we're almost certainly going to lose, aren't we? Come on. Come on. What the fuck are you doing? Just, ju just, ju just think about it. She went into the place to get one single steal. What's wrong with you? Okay, okay, okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Good hit. There you go. That's two more down. Take out that Scyther. I, I don't know what the hell you're doing, but you need to get to the kill box fast. Come on, kill that Scyther. Okay. That's not a big deal. That's not a big deal. It's just a Scyther. And then all we've got to deal with is like five Kraken. <laughs> I say that as if that's not gigantic. Oh my god, the mortar actually does nothing. Oh, wow. Oh, these things are like so... T what, what is their armor? 97% sharp, 15% blunt, 200% heat. Oh, lord. Yeah, Bucko can't do anything to the Kraken here. Man the cannon. Man the cannon and pray. Are we going to be able to stop them? Okay, okay, there's one down. Uh, yeah, siege mode. Siege mode would be nice. Let's enable that. Let's throw some grenades out there. They've never really done much for us, but we'll give it a, give it an attempt. There you go. Kind of fire those out, see if it'll do anything. Oh, we can't reach there. Oh, man, the grenade barrage has such a tiny range to it. Bucko's on the cannon. He's messing it up, but he is on the cannon. Okay, that's another one down. Four more Krakens to go. Come on. Oh! Maybe get out of there, Red Fox. Maybe Loctavia moves as well. Grumpy is down. Okay, rescue Grumpy. Get him out of there. Red Fox, get there. Bucko, get on the other cannon. Because Bucko's weapon does nothing. No, no, no. Bucko, get on the cannon. Let's go down Mechanoids. Oh, the Omnis I got hit in a holographic liver. I don't even know how that makes sense. I don't even know how that makes sense, but it does. Set a force target. Bucko, start firing. Bring them down. Cannonballs away. Oh, it did nothing. <laughs> How are we looking? Is anybody going to die? Okay, you know what? Just drop Grumpy there. Have you, are you a good doctor? You're not. Be better than nothing. Hey, like, drop Grumpy like there, though. 
That'll do. Right, 10 to Grumpy. Uh, Grumpy Ken is bleeding out in 12 hours. The hologram is bleeding out in 9. I don't even know how that happens. 8 hours for you. We might survive. The base might not, but we might. Oh, shit. Okay, who can't fire? You can't see anybody from there, so you tend to self without medicine. Fine. Shit, come on, squad. Come on, squad. This is the last one. Just kill it, dead. Bucko, maybe start firing some shots off here, pal. There you go, 28%. Oh my god, is it over? Oh, it's over. Oh, it's over. <laughs> cash. No, oh, I don't like cash, but I'm all right, thank you. Super nanites, assuming high set redneck did the job, are going to be fine. Resources, steel, wood, components, advanced components, plastic, things to rebuild with. I think we're safe. The power grid's back online. It's not. Why? 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 Oh, it's been blown there too. But I put so much redundancy in. How has this happened? What? 1,000 watts? 1,000 watts? Oh, the power is on. The power is on. Why is there still enemy music? What the hell are you talking about? Oh, it's ended. I, I genuinely thought those drop pods were some sort of reinforcement then. Well, that was horrible. That was horrible. But what a start, huh? <laughs> Something like a little bit of almost death to kick things off. Put a little bit of wind in your sails with a mechanoid invasion that you almost can't defeat. Okay, everybody is more or less tended. You keep tending to yourself without medicine. Oh, self tends disabled. Oh, come on. Okay, okay, okay. You're fine. Look, Sabian, how are you looking? You're actually fine as well. I think everybody's going to be okay. Against all odds, everybody is going to be fine. There's a lot of rebuilding to be done, but that's okay. Did we lose anything significant? The spaceship, massive loss, gigantic, but not a big deal. Not what we need to survive. The nanites are still online. We've still got 36 super nanites, so I'm not really too worried about that one. We lost the chem fuel storage. Uh, kind of a problem, but I think our power grid is, is, is okay at this point enough not to worry about it. That could have ended way worse. I, I'm, I'm honestly pretty happy with that outcome. Well, I think everybody beyond delivery for the highest priority is a good idea. We've only got three good builders right now, so let's pray that the next wave brings in another skill boost across the board. But more importantly, let's get on with the important things here. Before we begin, we need to recap what lab equipment we've got and what the risk is with doing this. A lot of people in Discord were speculating the worst possible outcomes for Captain Bucko, like, for example, some sort of superpower, but also being capable of violence. That would suck be pretty awful so we have two super nanite centrifuges those reduce the chance of failure by five percent each for a total of ten percent oh, hopefully i didn't need to explain that but the stabilized mucus inducers per mucus inducer allow us to gain one more power so you can get a total of three we've got two of them right now that's okay the nanite sampler allow us to choose between two sets of abilities that i would argue is the most important one of all rather than just randomly getting a power and a weakness we get to pick the power and weakness combination we get we pick the best of the bunch then we have the genome stabilizer another minus 10 percent failure we do need two of those ideally then we have five simulation drives reduce the time i believe oh this is the this is the chance of failure got it 1% per each of those, and then the super nanite injector pumps are the things that reduce the time. So we've only got four of those. Not a big deal. Do we want to throw Bucko in the ringer? Do we want to just gamble? Even though we don't have the full reduction of failure chance, even though it will take a little more time than usual because we don't have the time reduction, I think that last raid has put a little, a little desperation in my heart. Little Bucko, I think it's time. By beginning the operation... We have a 25% chance of failure. W upon failure, there are things like brain damage, berserk, mental afflictions. But if we succeed, there's so much Bucko could do. Perfect accuracy, always hitting vital organs, double range with Bucko's weapon and Bucko himself, of course, and his 20 shooting ability. That could be lethal. That, that could be insane we would go from just about surviving to really being able to achieve whatever goals we set out to do here it would take five days and four hours that means for the next raid bucko is going to be knocked out and i think we do it i think we take that risk and so it begins good luck little bucko drink we'll see you in five days my friend in the meantime along with crafting and rebuilding the base of course i think helmets are going to be super necessary I think helmets are necessary anyway. But I think at this point when our people have only got flat jackets and their heads are completely exposed, it could be quite nice. 
Uh, marine helmets. One component, one advanced component, 40 plasteel. Well, with that recent supply drop, we should be good on that front, right? Oh, it destroyed. It destroyed the drop location. Where did all those resources go? Okay, they're pretty convenient. 100 plasteel, 50 advanced components. We could build everybody a marine helmet and have enough to spare. Okay, on the side, no pressure, but I think this is much more high priority, my friend. So we don't need them for... In fact, we don't need them for Haynes or Neo. So let's put a minus one on those instead of a plus one. They should be able to use the Spectrum goggles because that goes on the top layer on its own layer. That should be good, though. Give everybody the helmets, the gloves, the boots, and the goggles. It's going to make them more effective in combat and actually pretty defensive. Then with whatever's left, we'll craft them recon armor, marine armor, the flat jackets, the armor vest. That's going to be enough for the time being. And honestly, I think the weapons are in a good place. I think our weapons are fine. I might swap out the charge lance that Ken has for... Another charge LMG, something just to put down a bit more firepower. We've got a lot of very slow firing weapons here. And we've got a new recruit as well, Livingston. Ah, Dr. Livingston, I presume. I'm a little reluctant to say that, given that he has um dunce. Might explain why, instead of using his instant hack powers in the vault yesterday to hack his way out, he decided to headbutt a wall. Uh, what's he skilled in? Not a lot. <laughs> ah... Wowee, um, Dr. Livingston, the artist? I mean, I, I, I have nothing else for you to do here. So I feel like it would be remiss of me to get you to do anything else, huh? Let's have some more skill boosts. You guys like skill boosts? We'll actually see if you survive today before we rename you as well, Dr. Livingston. For the time being, you're going to stay as Dr. Livingston. I put the arrow fleets in the ocean because I thought that way if they blow up, it'll be less damage overall. Oh, they did put a massive hole in the wall, huh? Yikes. But it turns out the aero fleets can also beat the algae. So I'm just going to turn this into one big aero fleet pen. That way, if they do explode, it'll be kind of safe. I might have a little off the sides there, just in case they do blow up. And on the subject of things blowing up, the power plant, the chem fuel, the oil extraction, it gave us power when we didn't have any. Before we had the geothermal generators, before we had this other solar panel grid set up down here, before we had the resources to do it, this thing has kept the lights on. I think it's too dangerous at this point to keep going with it. But don't think this is just using Rimmerfella very briefly and getting rid of it before we reach the end game. Without Rimmerfella, we wouldn't have been able to do anything we wanted to do. This was the thing keeping the lights on. The generator made 16,000 watts. But now we have the aero fleets. There's something I think a lot more cooler, a lot more on brand for pirates, given that we're going to have floating sea jellyfish here powering the base instead. I want to throw down a hexagel core generator, something I don't think I've ever used before. We put it on this little island here too. That keeps it nice and safe. We fuel that using all of this blue gel, but we will have to refine down as well. Now for the real question, who do we want to make first mate and who do we want to make bosun? Pretty much every single one of these people are new, right? The only people that have survived from the last crew were Bucko and High Tech Redneck at this stage, I think. Oh, and Haynes as well, of course, one of our war caskets. I think making a war casket any rank is is a poor idea because, of course, they can't do anything. So for first mate, for person to take over in Bucko's stead, I think we make the Omnisire first mate. And then for Bosun, I think it's just going to be a maths game. Whoever's got the highest social skill, which is Kroom. Kroom gets to be Bosun. Bosun is effectively the moral leader, after all. And then with that, the crew is starting to come back together a little bit. Omnisar is going to give a little speech here about why Captain Bucko's gone away for a few days and about, you know, her being in charge while he's gone. And then you've got to try and inspire the crew, prevent any more mutineers coming along. Like, goddamn monkey chef. Come on, we need something big here. There you go. That'll do it. Okay. Keep the moods high. It is only a plus five, but that plus five won't make all the difference given that we've got to rebuild pretty damn fast. A lot of this base has to be put back together within 3.5 days. 12 hours left, and I think we've actually somehow managed to rebuild. A complete miracle. No, 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 no. Actually finish the wall, though. Okay, how are we looking? I think... I think it's fine. we got a little bit more of the kill box to rebuild there, but other than that... I think there's a way in. Oh, well done, crew. Captain Bucko would be so proud if he was still with us. I mean, he is still with us. He's just a little busy right now. One day, one hour... Oh, Lord. I was kind of hoping there was a chance he would pop out mid-raid, but <laughs> but I guess not. 32 enemies. Oh, 32 enemies, but we don't have his weapon. Although, some swarm missile launchers. Oh! <laughs> well, those are some uh, those are some interesting looking guns. What are they doing? Yeah, but what are you doing there, though? That doesn't look as if they're... What, what are you doing? Are they still going through the kill box? Are they not down the walls? Got down mechanoid raids. Got me on edge! <laughs> Ah, here they come. Here they come. Okay, siege mode. Oh, siege mode is still on. 
Okay, that sounds good. Okay, that's fine. Didn't realize it was a permanent toggle. I thought you had to turn it on and off when you wanted to... When you wanted to turn it on. Why would you ever turn it off in that case? Using the attack range and reload efficiency drastically. Maybe it makes it move slower? I'm not entirely sure. Either way, we are absolutely shredding this raid, though. I think we're going to be fine. Uh, it might make sense to move maybe Dougie and... Oh, you know what? I think that's okay. Let's not, let's not change it too much. Bucko would be proud! Oh, no. Oh! oh, we're fine! For a miracle, they whiffed it. They shot too too early. Okay, we're a little bit out of cover. A little bit out of cover. Doing me a frighten. Let's move you guys over a little bit here and there. Uh, maybe you come over here now. Neo's fine. Ne Neo's in a war casket. I'm sure Neo will be okay. And that is it. Well, that easy. Ten tamed aero fleet, five colossal aero fleet. I love the idea of turning them to space. I really do, but they are so explosive. Ten random bionic prosthetics. Actually pretty good now that they're not stacked and now they're not all going to be awful quality. But we could just make bionics. Oh, but there's already so much to make. Let's take the prosthetics. Let's see if we can upgrade these people who are otherwise fairly awful. Oh, I didn't put down the landing spot. I made a horrible mistake here. Where did they go? Where did they end up? Oh, I heard it somewhere. Ah. Uh, prosthetics? Ah, prosthetics. Hello. Reprocess the stomach. That's good. Love enhancer. That's fine. Aesthetic shape of fine. Heart. Foot. Love enhancer. Please don't send me love enhancers. I don't need freaking love enhancers. Only 10 hours remain before we see the next stage of Bucko. Maybe he'll become deadly accurate or double range or immortal. Or maybe he'll get the ability to, I don't know, speak to trees. Something really, really useless. <laughs> Everybody's getting armored up. This is nice. This is nice. Even if something terrible happens to Bucko and he goes catatonic for a while, I think we could survive it. Even if they haven't got the skill, they've got the spirit, goddammit. And even if they haven't got the spirit, they've got they've got head protection now. <laughs> yeah, that's the whole squad. Wow, look at that. What a what a look, eh? Oh. I don't know what that one is. The process of injecting super nanites have finished. Because your lab equipment includes a nanite sample, we ne may now select between two power and weakness pairs for Bucko Drink. We have the choice of being able to speak to animals. Oh my god, I wasn't that far off. <laughs> or, unsure. Aiming time times 200%. That is almost instantly a no-go. Or, celebrity. All social interactions are kind words. People tend to like him twice as much. And, pain hypersensitivity. Pain multiplied by 300%. Wow. Um, wow, that's really difficult. Obviously, we can't take animal speech, and we really can't. That makes him useless in combat, and arguably gives him no useful superpower. Celebrity Captain Bucko Drink, the captain of the crew. Everybody, everybody loving. Just, just this beloved captain seems so perfect, but the pain times 300%. If we keep him safe, if we keep him hidden with his mortar, as we have been, might not affect him too much. And eventually, we might be able to get a pain blocker. Or a pain stopper. Take your pick. <laughs> I think I've got to go for it. I have to make him Celebrity Bucko Drink. Is that what I wanted? Was that the perfect outcome? No. No, really far from it. But what if we were to do it again? 35% chance of failure. <sighs> Four days, 17 hours. There was another super nanite injector pump not in not set up in storage. We would be able to I don't know 4.5 days. Damn. And it's another mech hive with a lightning storm. So more or less the same as what we had last time. They've also got a termite, so they'll crack the walls. I can't, knowing what wave is coming next, put him in for another treatment yet. That doesn't mean I won't do it entirely. Super nanites is here. No. Oh shit. Uh why? Why? Just not enough power? Is that it? It's not enough power still. Because the solar panels are offline during the nighttime. Oh shit. Oh look, we've only got to get through a couple more hours. This one is still powered. That's one of the machines using the power. Oh, we've lost so many super nanites, haven't we? If we get a power cut or even a solar flare at this point, it might stop any further superhero projects. Alright. No more messing around. Let's get the exagel generator down and ready i've already had our people produce hexagel and eventually hexagel cores it's just we've been a little bit busy you know not dying then with some hexagel cores we should be oh you're already on it 
Hey, speedy Kroom. Look at that. 25,000 watts and that five exagel calls we made there last us three days. So we are going to have to keep on top of that. I don't know how many... Or more specifically, I don't know if you've got enough aero fleets to keep it running. Now, given that the base is built and everybody's in a fairly good mood, and we want to try and get Bucko back in the superpower machine as soon as possible, I think we summon them early. I, and I do think this road will be a lot easier than the last Mechanoid raid. Although, 0.7% chance of getting a fourth reward now. Oh... There's no real benefit to doing it besides we'll be able to get Bucko in the machine sooner. Now, given that we're not using chem fuel anymore and we also have a pretty ridiculous amount of resources, maybe a couple more upgrades for Bucko here. I think another range cooldown couldn't hurt. Plus 11%. Yikes, is that cumulative or is that just on top of what we already had? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That's very silly. If we get a few more high explosive shells, we need 38 now. We can upgrade it again. Just waiting on the last little bit of the defenses to be built. Then we'll call them in. And so it begins. Flash storm is going, so I fully expect the base to burn down again. Who decided to build this out of wood? What a terrible idea. If only there was some sort of... Hmm. No, you see, I'm not a fan of that. Where the hell are we going to fight them here? I guess we'll line up... <laughs> I guess we'll line up on this side and hope they don't go through Bucko's mansion. Hey! Get out of here, you damn kids! Oh, what a hit. Oh, the flag! Oh, Bucko. Should have expected this, given that there's a termite as part of the radar. Oh, he's damaging this Kraken. Still no damage to the Kraken there. Oh, Bucko's bathroom! Not the bathroom! Come on! The turrets are slowing down a little bit. Oh, this is horrible. Of all the buildings to destroy... I mean, this one's Bucko's house. I'll be, I'll be honest. It's probably the best thing for them to destroy out of all of them. Oh, no. Not Bucko. It's very empty vault. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not like he was using the throne anyway, huh? I think the mechanoids did more damage to one another than they did to the actual base in the end of... Oh, shit. Okay, here they come. Uh, I'm going to just, like, stand amongst the trees. We'll put our people amongst the trees and hope that that's good enough. Maybe start firing some shells over there, Bucko. Nice. That'll do it. Oh, what about these Goliaths? They, they seem tanky. They're not actually not that bad at all. Oh, our people. Oh, our people. Fire, Bucko. Kill them all. Oh, what a hit. Six out of 17. Oh, shit. Doggy, doggy, doggy. Doggy and Red Fox. Oh, this is a nightmare. This is a nightmare scenario. This is terrible. Do you want Grumpy's dead already? What the fuck? Grumpy, Grumpy, what happened? Stomach was destroyed. God damn it. Three Krakens left against these Krakens. They're so powerful. They're just like, like centipedes just ramped up even more. Finish the job. Just bring it down. Good Lord. Kroom, are you going to die on me? Kroom's going to be fine. Everyone else is going to be fine. Poor Grumpy. There we go. Do I want a Galatross? No, I don't think I do. What I will take for the first time in a long time is a next wave delay. The Galatross does have a rocket launcher built in though. Ah... Oh, boy, it's really tempting. Uh, um, they eat a lot of food, though, don't they? A big, friendly Galatross to give it some barnet limbs. Ah, oh, it would be kind of cool. Can't get a parrot we have of Galatross. But we could delay it by 15 days and give Bucko so many more powers. Ah! 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 Don't make me regret that little Galatross. Well, if in all of that, all we lose is Grumpy, it's a sad day. But it isn't the worst day. Eh? Shot immediately in the stomach and killed instantly is, is, is a shame. But there wasn't much we could have done about that. Short of crafting everyone marine armor. But then, of course, we wouldn't have been able to build the helmets, the weapons. Because Thorn Room's not looking so good, huh? Holy shit. We did almost lose Red Fox. Is everybody okay? Did you lose anything? No. No. Uh, a couple of burns there. But I think Bucko's okay otherwise. The mechanoids suck. Oh my god, look at the next raid. 100 enemies, that's it. I, I guess compressed raids is kicking in already. Now, the real question is, why the Galatross? What would be worth delaying the next wave by three times its regular length? Simply put, uh, it's a big old tank. Like, it's actually just a giant tank. Oh, the oil pipelines. Oh, Galatross. Wow, that fires fast, doesn't it? Good lord. We're going to rename your little Galatross to Deirdre's Revenge. But, oh, Deirdre's Revenge. <laughs> Ah, good enough. We've got a tankier power grid. We've got a tankier pet. Now, all we need is to get ourselves a tankier bucko. Round two of the Gene's Hailering. Let's see if we can get an actual combat power this time, rather than him just being loved by everybody, given that bucko was already loved by everybody. It does seem a little bit, little bit, little bit pointless. What I'd really like... Oh. 
Ah, hello, Deirdre for Bang. What I think would be incredible is if we could crack open that other vault with the spaceship that we don't have anymore and get the machinery that allows us to remove those negatives. I'm happy to take the gamble with Bucko. If it's only a 35% chance of failure, that's a, that's, a, that's a risk worth taking. It's big stakes this time around. Silver? Who is Silver? Oh, the other superpower person we got. You're the one with the... Oh, immediately you've got yourself well equipped there. Well, I appreciate that one. You were the one with the super speed, right? Super speed, fireball, but conscientious objector. This is a character that would be perfect for exactly that reason. For, for, for exactly getting that machine. I mean, look, credit is where it's due to the crew here. They got this rebuilt bloody fast. I quite like the horrible singed carpet, I'll be honest. We're going to have to wait for Bucko's gene tailoring to finish before we can start this funeral. But we can at least put Grumpy in the casket. They're saying that we only need a bosun, don't we? 100% quality. Let's just get it done. I think Bucko will understand. And now that we actually have a bosun again, we can sing ourselves some sea shanties. Help them celebrate and ideally forget about, you know, our people being gunned down on mass. That'd be kind of nice. Oh, they destroyed one of the ancient geothermal plants. Well, that's annoying because we can't exactly rebuild those, can we? Brilliant. Well, I never thought I'd see the rum manufacturer ran by Galatros, but <laughs> here we are, I suppose. And here we go. The biggest raid we're going to see. Well, the biggest raid we have seen and the biggest raid that's possible. Good lord. Okay, and I assume they were compressed as well. They absolutely were. Yikes. And we don't have Bucko either. Oh, doggy, what are you doing? <laughs> Apparently we've killed one. Uh, have we? <laughs> oh, what happened? Heart attack. Yes, one down. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think we could send out Deirdre's Revenge? What's the range you've got there, Deirdre? Pretty good, but they've got, they've got just as good, haven't they? Oh, man, it's not even good enough for the kill box at this point. Yikes. Oh, this is going to be a complete mess. Oh, I'll be the first to admit that. This is going to be a complete and utter shit show. Uh, you know what I might do with Deirdre? I'll get her behind the auto door. The second they, they look as if they're going to get close, we pop out. We fire off a shot. We move back in. Line them up, Deirdre. Uh, light, light them up, Deirdre. Deirdre? Deirdre, though. Deirdre, what's going on? Move you forward? Fleeing. Brilliant. <laughs> legendary reward, everyone. A legendary reward. Thank you, Deirdre. Oh, don't do that. Oh, don't do that. You're going to make it harder for all of us. No, 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 no. Don't do that. That's it. That's it. Piss off. That's it. Go back through the kill box. Oh, please go back through the kill box, please. Oh, fuck. Deirdre, I hate you. I hate you with every fiber of my being. You may have just fucked this up for us, Deirdre. You massive Galatross idiot. Kill them all. At least kill what you can. At least kill something. Search and destroy, Deirdre. Search and destroy. Oh, Lord. That's all right. There's only a, only a hundred of them. Just a regular day for Bucko's crew, isn't it? Now, Galatross is a famously very, 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 very durable. So I think Deirdre could probably tank the hits from all 100 of them and, and shake it off. Bleeding out in six hours. All right, so like I was saying, Galatrosses are actually pretty fragile. And we do have to be a little more careful with what we what we, what we we do here. Oh, bucko. Electromagnetic pulse. Unsure. Paranoid. Paranoid speak to animals. Bucko, I don't want you speaking to freaking animals. I get it. You're a pirate. I mean, we could get a parrot. Beloved Captain Pirate Bucko Drink, who can also speak to parrots. <sighs> I did make him paranoid. Means when he's outside of the home area, he's more upset. But that's not that's not going to be an issue. I mean, how frequently does he leave the home area ever? What a state. <laughs> oh, that complete mess, Deirdre. You fucked it. On the plus side, there's a sizable hole in the wall that they can see the enemies running through now. So that's quite nice. We're doing okay. We're almost halfway there. There's a chance they could start retreating soon. You guys are still on siege mode, right? That's good. What the hell you're doing back there? Please, please line up. Like, Deirdre's holding it. You know what? It's not going that bad. I'm, I'm a little bit surprised. Oh, they're fleeing. Some of them are fleeing. Oh, there we go. Uh, skill boost. I'll take it. I will absolutely take that happily. My God. Okay, okay. It's still not the golden assignment screen that I wanted, but uh, uh, it's getting there. It's an improvement. We've got to quickly patch up this Galatross before it bleeds to death. Is everybody else okay, though? Red Fox is fine. Octavian is, is okay. Octavian took the most damage and still gonna be completely fine. And I mean, 
See what we will about that Galatross. Maybe ruining things a little bit there. Certainly exposed the kill box. They took that. I mean, it took the brunt of the damage. It took the full force. And now everyone else is fine. You know, it took the damage so no one else had to. That's all right by me. Oh, Lord. What the fuck? Holy crap. The screen is flashing like crazy. What the hell's going on? I don't think we can tend Deirdre fast enough. I, I don't think that we can physically tend her quicker than she's going to bleed out here. Even with Bucko on the case. Bucko has 20 medical, bearing in mind. This is insane. Uh, Bucko actually just gave up. Oh, my God. Uh, we got anyone else? You got 20 medical. Get down here. Get down here. 10 Deirdre. We don't have time to get medicine. 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 10 seconds, 7 seconds, 4 seconds, 2 seconds. How is this possible? Why is it that every time I try and kill a Galatross, they run circles around our colony and almost wipe us out? We get a pet Galatross, they get killed instantly. I want a refund. Oh, I know, says Captain Bucket. Well, I know, I'll name this big Galatross. This, this unbeatable, ridiculously powerful Galatross after my wife. T in, in honor of her memory. Instantly dies. <laughs> well, if he wasn't upset about it before, he certainly will be now. Were these the upgrades that I thought we would end up with? An unstoppable Galatross and a super-powered Bucko drink. We've ended up with a dead Galatross and people like Bucko, and also he can talk to animals. Which, spoilers, were true yesterday's episode anyway. I'm... I'm angry. <laughs> I'm angry at this world. We will do every bloody vault. I'm not going to stop until Bucko is an untouchable god of a man. A golden pirate lord. We're going to blot out the sun with a, with a mighty pirate fleet. <sighs> Thank you all for watching. <laughs> I thought today would be different, but it's just... It's just this game kicking me when I'm down. Thank you to Jimmy the Dryad's number one fan, Nick Danger 13 Speedy, Gordy number one, Chris, Nick Nack, Zeno, Texas Yardbird, Buen Gun, Brittany Lee, Biv, Grilled Bears, Chaotic Entertainment, JT, 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 Cyborg, Skaven, Alex Monk, Hans Crack, Bludus, and Bigsby. For their support, the executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Thank you all for making the channel possible with your contributions there. Thank you as well to Sequential Shotlock, Revan, Ben Taylor, Prismo, Flom, Shittle Dirt, Irish Batman, Aragon Awesome, Slinger, Pim, Dougie Fresh, Bucky, Fred, Lazy Panda, and Mr. Hank you for their contribution as well to the channel, but also to my blood pressure rising to previously unforeseen levels. See you all tomorrow.